Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Bitcoin Breakdown series brought to you by the Cryptocurrency Alliance. As always, your boy here, Dave Rodriguez, on a Friday uh, night. One of the head traders here inside the Alliance community, guys. Want to give you a shout out for showing up today, watching the video. Definitely appreciate all the support. Make sure you guys mash that subscribe button if you have not already. Anybody who is uh, showing up for the first time, I'll give you a quick rundown of what goes on inside these new videos. Uh, since Bitcoin is king, we spent a lot of time going over the analysis to see where we think where we think it'll go next and what are the reasons why we think it'll go there. We go over support and resistance lines as well. We take this information to make profitable trades when the opportunity presents itself. Now, not only do we cover Bitcoin, we'll also evaluate some of the other charts, whether it be some lower cap altcoins or some major cap uh, major coins. Um, Last but not least, we'll be covering some fundamentals time to time. Not every day, but this is a technical analysis channel. But we, if we feel it's going to move the market or something that we think is already, something that we know has already moved the market, we'll go ahead and break that down for you guys as well. To be a successful trader, guys, we've told you this time and time again, you guys need to be plugged into all the right information. This is definitely one place you need to be plugged into every day because there's three major things we look for. We talk about them all the time. We also give them away in a free ebook that we'll be talking about here in just a minute. Um, so stick around for that. We'll let you guys know how you can get that new, uh, excuse me, that free ebook. So uh, I don't want to waste a whole lot of time with you guys. Let's jump right in and see what the market is actually doing. You know, Bitcoin is trying to sustain. Let's pull up. Let's pull up a USD chart um, instead of this USDT chart. But before we do that, let me just cover this real quick. I want to cover the 100 MA. Okay, the 100 MA is something that we're going to need to cover. And as you can see, it's represented here by the purple line. And as you can see how well it's been respected, you know, especially since, uh, <clears throat> and especially right around since September and October. But you can see uh, the history of it. You know, got respected here, fell down, respected here, broke through, t tested. And then right in here is where it's really showed up. It's been holding down underneath the 100 MA since September, since mid-September. And again, right here, even that big spike, that inorganic spike for the UST, USDT tether situation, it stayed below the 100 MA. And now look at where we're at. We came down, we retested the low again, again, following this very important upwards trend line. As you guys can see, this keeps working its way up, which is very important. I don't know why it didn't work. Oh, yes, I do. This keep working, working its way up, which is very important to see these higher highs, these higher uh, formations forming, as you can see right here. And then it'll keep going. So then you got another one here, and it's following that trend line. And then it's working its way up, you know, and then it just keeps happening. And that's what we're looking for to get higher and higher and higher before we get squeezed out and we see a move which we are hoping is to the upside so right now we're we're hitting this right here this was a great short opportunity for you short traders um, for you guys trading on bitmex this was a great short opportunity if um, if you did get in last night at the 100 ma and set your stop loss right above it you would have been about two percent in profits um, or, you know, right around $100. Um, I can see this thing still coming down to test the lows, guys. Do not let that, let this fool you um, as far as this little rally here. We've seen a lot of these little small rallies. Um, I really, really love the fact that we've broken out and we're sort of in like a consolidation phase in between this range here. There's a little range here. But what I think could happen is we could see it spike back down to this low area here. Um, or if we see it get a, get up and above the 100 MA, which right now it's pointing down on the daily and so is the 200. If we get up and above the 100 MA and find a home, I think we'll spike straight to this, this area here. 
but a very important area that we need to keep our eye on um, in this range has always been 6800 so if we can get up and above the 6800 area and up and above the 100 MA uh, the 200 target would be next and then you got this next high over here at 7400 which I think would be um, a pretty good target but let's check let's take a look at the USDT chart and just see Bitcoin US dollar see we're still in this little range here as far as on the daily chart you know Bitcoin's trying to sustain above the moving averages a close by, um, above 6650 it can rally to 6800 area like we just spoke about this is the 6800 area if we can get a close up and above this area, the, the, the 100 MA, um, price has turned down three times from this resistance, so it's definitely a key level to watch in this update. Now, a breakout from this can propel, you know, I think Bitcoin up to the 7,400 area that we just spoke about right here. So a breaking above this area here, the 68, um, with a break above 65, where the 100 MA is, 68 would be next, and then 74 would come after that. Uh, the moving averages are kind of flat, which shows a balance between the bulls and the bears and um, a failure to break above 68 will extend the stay inside of this range that we've been in so if we don't break up and above it we're just gonna stay you know inside this little range we've been in here um, you know on the downside 6200 has been acting like a strong support uh, if this level breaks in here then we could see a uh, retest of 5900 or 6000 area um 5900 something like that if we get down below that a negative break down below 5900 would be lower support to 5400 and about 5000 which is not something that we want to see um let's talk about xlm because we did see we talked about eos too but xlm we talked about um when we saw that breakout so the majors are all down here. I want to talk about a couple of other ones today just to kind of map out. So XLM, I would love to have seen a more of a retest. You know, it came down and retested this area here, but you know, I can still see it happening. It could come down even more, retest this area, and bounce back off to the upside. Um, we have no real, I mean, we got the, 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 the 100 MA. Um, trying to slide upwards 200 is kind of flat both of them are really kind of flat which means it's kind of a balance between the bears and the bulls but we have hit kind of a target here on the top side a lot of resistance in this area um, so we went to bust through this to see uh, further upside but I do see maybe a small retest of the downside here let's check EOS we were going over EOS the other day as well and what a beauty what a beauty on EOS um, we're going to see EOS, and this is again isn't perfect. It's the daily. There's the breakout on the daily. That is a beautiful breakout pattern on EOS. Okay, on the daily. So we see a beautiful retest here. What we're probably going to see is a retest of this area on the 100 MA. I could see it coming down, retesting any reload area here would be great. This is a good reload area and a quick take profit. Um, from this area would be right here and that's 13 percent that's gonna happen this is a beautiful play keep your eyes on EOS same thing here with ADA beautiful you know nothing's perfect guys but a beautiful breakout one two three four and five touches inside beautiful breakout beautiful retest up and above all the MAs. Let's see if we can just bring some of the other MAs into play. The 50, we're holding up and above the 50. That's nice. Um, next target obviously is going to be this 100 in this area, this top area here. This 100 MA, if we can break up and above that, that'll be great. ADA is something to keep your eye on. We already looked at XLM. Um, Ethereum Similar breakdown in Ethereum, holding the 50 MA on the daily very nicely. Something we love to see. We saw a breakout. We saw the retest candle here. This is not a bad reload area. If we can hold this on the daily after, I, mean, I think it could take off straight to the 200. Again, guys, look at the targets. The targets are 
you know, the, the, the left, you look to the left and you see your targets. So, and it coincides with the 100 MA, um, which is a nice return. This is your reload area. We could see it drop down another couple of percent, five or 10 percent. My stop loss would be down in here. Um, 15, 16 percent rise, easy. And then we just think it's keep going and keep skyrocketing. The majors are, are breaking out of that pattern that we talked about uh, the other day. This is broken. Um, you know, it's going wall to wall, guys. This is right in the channel. This is a good reload area. I told you guys that we saw it breaking out. A retest would be great. It's holding right here. I'd like to see it actually get down here and touch the 50 and 100. Um, the 50 has crossed the 100 to the upside. We're pointing up. Next target would be up here um, in this range, but I can see it definitely, you know, getting up here to 50%. Um, talk about IOTA real quick. IOTA broke out as well. You know, we're seeing a lot of breakouts, a lot of retests. Um, let's see if we see any. It's being supported right now by the 10 MA. And the 20 MA, they've crossed. Nice little hold here. If we could see this bounce to the upside, we could see some nice movement. You guys see the pattern? Um, you see it playing out over and over again. A lot of it's playing out in the majors. I bet you it's happening on Dash as well. Um, we saw exactly what was going to happen here. We haven't seen the breakout on Dash, guys. So it's something else to look for. If we get that breakout on Dash, Dash just had an announcement come out the other day with their um, partnership with Telegram being able to send crypto back and forth, just like Litecoin partners with Facebook, supposed to give them an ability to reach a billion or two people. Um, they log in, you get a text message, you know, we could pull up the, uh, the articles, but I mean, a lot, a lot of cool little news coming out. It didn't really push it too much, being able to send crypto during, you know, through, through SMS messaging. Um, it didn't give it the boost that I thought they would get because it's just, I mean, it's, it's not that big of a deal to me. Um, it's not groundbreaking. So, you know, sometimes what you think will be bullish news really doesn't move because Litecoin really hadn't done anything major. See, I mean, it's broken out of this downward trend. Broken out of the downward trend, holding the MAs. They've crossed here. The 10 and the 20 have crossed. It's holding. Um, we need to get above this 50 here and then get above this 100. And then it's uh, lights out, guys. Lights out to the 200. And that is a big move. So guys, you see the patterns, keep an eye out for them. Look at all those retests, look at all those reload areas. But remember, Bitcoin can break down at any time. So set your stop losses in a respectable area. We taught you guys how to do that on three commas. The link uh, will be below. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys uh, will mash that like button, mash that subscribe button, put any comments in the fields below. Those of you that are new, we got an ebook called the, called the Cryptocurrency Consumer Guide. Everything you need to know about Bitcoin and three trading secrets that we use here inside the Alliance. Pick that up in the link below. It's the BitcoinConsumerGuide.com forward slash YT. That'll get you everything you need to know. We also got a bonus series for everybody who fills out the information. Cody Sperber himself spends about 30 minutes with you guys, letting you know all the things that he's interested in, how he got into crypto, why he got into crypto, what is, um, you know, what are the things he thinks you need to know to get started in crypto. So whether you're new, whether you've been trading, there's useful information here. We're giving away for free, so take advantage of it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next Bitcoin Breakdown. I'm your boy, Crypto Coach Dave, and you guys have a wonderful weekend.